Hi everybody, it's B-Man the Colts fan, even though I'm wearing Hoosiers today, Indiana. Anyhow, uh, some of you might own a Pelican, the Catch 120, or Catch 120 NXT. Uh, this probably works on the Catch uh, 100 as well. But uh, I'm going to show you today how I made a, a um, dolly or cart for my 120. So this works if you've got a uh, Catch 120, probably a 100 also, I'm not sure. This is the NXT model, and the sucker's heavy. I mean, it's heavy, daggone it. 70 pounds, it doesn't seem like that much, but this thing's 12 feet long, and it's, it's awkward when you're carrying it by that handle and that handle. And, I mean, it can probably only take so much of uh, lifting and lugging it around before these things start to get loose and break off plus my back will probably get broken i'm 44 years old i'm not as young as i used to be like i said it's only 70 pounds but i'm pretty weak when it comes to this thing i'm a big wuss now i'm by no means an engineer i mean i'm not an engineer at all i mean look at this hole in my roof my drywall's falling down and i'm not gonna fix it i'm lazy there's another one over there. I'm lazy, not good at fixing stuff at all. I'm kind of good. I'm not horrible. I mean, here's my tool bench. Don't really got much, but it's a mess. I make sure that I don't take care of my tools and I let holes form in my garage. If the drywall fell, I, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm lazy. The point I'm trying to make is that I mean, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I'm lazy, whatever. But I'm not an engineer by any means. But this is an easy project. Anybody can do it. So if you know how to glue stuff and cut stuff, then you can do it. Here's the design I came up with. I mean, I really didn't come up with it. Most of it I saw on other people's carts. And this is an unfinished project, by the way. I mean, I'll probably put some caps on here. I'll probably rubberize this. But uh, I saw a lot of people had kind of like this design but they didn't have this middle piece they might have had a, a leg of it coming out this way to you know balance on the ground for when so it isn't rolling around when you're putting your boat on it but uh i figured i'd use the scupper hole that's you know on the bottom of the boat basically right underneath that and i could put that in there to stabilize it and it worked pretty good and I had some noodles laying around, so, you know, of course I had to slip them on there. I'm going to put some caps on here, I guess, to hold them on and cut them a little shorter. And this was just leftover junk. I figured I'd put that there. I'll make it look nicer later. I'll probably put some here, too. But uh, just to make it float if it falls off the boat, which I don't even think I'm going to take it on the boat anyway. But uh, at any rate, uh, I just had one two three four five of these three quarter inch tees and uh i kind of wished i had the four ways with the one coming out this way so i could have connected all this together made it a little stronger but those pieces cost a lot of money they was like 11 bucks a piece and i had to order them and do ten dollars shipping and the point was to not spend any money i mean i built all this for less than twenty dollars of course i took these tires off a cart i mean those are the expensive parts so i saved money uh you can use any tire off a lawnmower or whatever you know it doesn't have to be these pneumatic tires but uh i would go with the cheapest thing i could mine were free so i'm cheap and not good at building stuff so there's that seriously i'm really cheap i am cheap i can't believe i spent the money on this thing Anyhow, like I said, not really a engineer, so I didn't really measure. Um, these are basically, these two pieces here were about 7 inches, I believe. I I tried for 7 inches, and that's it worked out. Uh, these pieces here, uh, I think they were about 4 inches a piece. And I put some little end caps on here and drilled a 5 8 hole in it so I could put this piece of uh, all thread, 5 8 all thread, all the way through. I put a couple washers on each end and a couple of 
bolts there on both sides just to hold it all together. Who knows? Maybe they unscrew when I roll this thing around. They haven't yet, but I don't really care. I just need to roll it to my truck and back, so I don't care if it's a piece of crap. Put in the comments how crappy it is for me. Please make fun of it. I uh, put a cap up here. Like I said, I'm going to rubberize that probably so it don't scuff up the scupper hole. And that's about it. I think these pieces here, I can't remember how long those were. But you're going to eyeball that anyway. It can be whatever you want. I'd only bought a one ten foot piece of uh, three quarter PVC pipe. So I had all that plus this much left over. So... Who knows? You have plenty there if you mess up. You just gotta eyeball it. And I do know that this piece right here was the same length as these pieces that I put on. I had five pieces the same length. So I'm not gonna measure anything for you. I will tell you the materials. It was one ten foot piece of PVC. Uh, one, two, three, four, five of these three quarter inch T's. Uh, a piece of 5 8 all thread I mean they sell them in different sizes you can you'll see that's like a what a two foot piece I don't know whatever size that is uh, some washers some nuts I mean some bolts I don't know those are nuts see I'm <laughs> by no means an engineer I don't even know the difference between a nut and a bolt uh, I guess they're nuts right I don't know and I bought one, two, three, uh, three quarter inch caps. Uh, I'm gonna need four more for these just to make it prettier, which I don't really care about, but I just don't want these sliding off. So I'll cut a little more off there, put the cap on there, and I think that'll keep it on better. Um, these caps were the rounded off on one end kind. I just thought that might work better. I don't know. Drilled a hole in them. Uh, that's about it. I did have to put a little spacer, you know, cut a little bit of PVC pipe to connect the cap to the T right there, about an inch long. And put some foam on there, make it float or whatever, and you're all good to go. Less than 20 bucks. If you buy the tires, if you buy pneumatic, it'll probably be expensive. If you find some old tires somewhere, it'll be free. Uh, if you buy some lawnmower tires, they'll probably be about five, six bucks a piece. Um, these will probably work better in the terrain that I'm going to be around, so I'm glad I have them. And I guess I should show you if it works or not. Well, already I'm, I've sat it on there and I'm, I'm seeing that my engineering skills probably should have led me to buy one inch PVC, probably. Because, uh, eh, I think it'll hold up. I mean but it is a little wobbly. That's why I wish I would have had those four-way, three-quarter inch uh, furniture PVCs in there just to support those two. It would have made it a lot stronger. Probably would, three-quarter would have been fine. But uh, if I had to do it over again, I'd use one inch. Uh, but it looks like it's gonna be just fine. Look how it fits in that scupper hole. And these look good. Roll it around. Unfortunately, I can't find any friends right now to help me, so I'm gonna have to set this camera down somewhere to uh, film it. But as you can see, it's gonna work. I promise. Okay, here we go. Now I don't know what that looked like. I heard some creaking, so hopefully it wasn't as bad as I thought. Hopefully it didn't look as bad as it sounded, but uh, we're gonna go look at it. And y'all already saw it, so you already know. So I'm not even gonna comment that it was crappy or not. I'm just gonna pretend like it was awesome. 
wow, that was awesome. But no, I really watched the video. It didn't seem that bad. I think the creaking I heard was just fine. But uh, if you make one, I would suggest the one inch PVC. If I was going to make it again, I'd go to the one inch. And I'd probably paint it, make it pretty if I cared, but I don't. Um, it's just for getting in and out of my garage and truck, rolling it around to the lakes, whatever. Uh, doesn't have to be fancy. Um, doesn't have to fit on the boat because I don't think I'm going to take it anyway. And I don't think it'll... Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I imagine that's where I'd want to put it. Uh, if that bungee stuff wasn't in the way, I could just set it like that. Probably just let it rest in that scupper hole. Looks like the cap's a little too big to fit on this side of it. But uh, you can do it like that. Uh... Maybe lean it in there like that. Who knows? Put it sideways. Hey, that might work. Don't really want it sideways. I don't really want to take up that cargo space, period. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to take it with me. But uh, leave it in the back of the truck so somebody can steal it. Well, that's it for now. Um, as you can see, my kayak is new. Nothing has been done to it yet. In the future, I'll probably do some DIY projects that are way more ambitious than that stupid cart. And uh, where I could probably do a lot of damage to my kayak. I'll probably have to measure then. But uh, for now, that's all I've done. I made me a little cart. That's all I need right now. Maybe uh, an anchor trolley in the future or a fish finder or a trolling motor or something. I think I want to make a skeg. I saw on uh, that Zofinger guy's... Uh, video he put a skeg on there and that was pretty cool so maybe i'll do that i'll i'll screw that up bad but bye for now comment down below on how crappy it was make fun of me i got an indiana accent and i live in oklahoma just can't win for losing